Testing one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so yeah, and that, it's not a vlog, this is part of my series. This is the third episode, let's just say that, of my series all about Walking Dead and the season so far. Do kind of a recap. I'm not going to go in as much depth as I did in the other episodes, just to get up to date to episode 8, which was like the mid-season finale, I think. I haven't actually seen it, so I don't know. But today is just about episode 5 and 6. And yet, yeah, I'm on the Canon 500D. Big camera, bit HD for you guys. Uh, I've got a new Christmas gift that's gonna improve this a bit, and I'm not gonna say anything yet. It's a surprise, and I can't wait for that. It's Christmas. No matter how old you are, Christmas is the best. Happy holidays, and let's get into it. Straight into Walking Dead. Um, so yeah, episode starts uh, with. Gabriel talking about whatever he normally talks about church stuff and then like last time we saw him he was stuck in a trailer with Negan surrounded by zombies yeah a lot a lot of zombies I mean a lot and like he kind of gets a confession out of Negan basically that's what it's all about and like you find out a bit more about Negan and his character and the saviors, you know, but Negan himself, like what he's been through. We know what Gabriel's been through, and they both have like a, it's like a personal moment between two characters that, as far as I know, they've never met. Do you know what I mean? Which is weird. And Rick and Daryl have a fight over wanting to blow up the, not the sanctuary, the satellite place where all the workers live. Or the sanctuary at one end. Anyway, and he wants to kill them all. Rick's like, no, we've got to save the workers because otherwise they're going to pick up guns and go against us. They're going to, you know, join the saviors and start fighting us. We need them on our side and all this. And that's how it, how it goes. They have a little fight. Then they realise they're both stupid and somehow while they're fighting they blow up all the guns and weapons and dynamite. Anyway, idiots. Just spent the whole episode just doing nothing. But yeah, uh, one of their episodes, it's a really interesting episode, I'll be honest, I enjoyed it quite a lot, it's quite interesting. Not so much action, but yeah, in the end, Negan and Gabriel do escape that trailer. Just about, Gabriel is like, locked in a cell, as we see. Eugene trying to help him out, trying to comfort him in some way. But still, we don't know what's going on with the treachery between, uh, what's his name? Uh, Gregory. Also, towards the beginning of that episode, we see him having a meeting with uh, Negan and all the lieutenants. This is just before the first episode we see when Rick and a whole lot of people just roll up with their cars covered in metal and shoot up the place. So it's like before that when they're having a meeting. Uh, we know what traitor Gre Gregory is, what coward, what weird. Well, let's just say what, there's a few words Negan used. So on both, he's betrayed both sides, basically. You've got Eugene and Dwight uh, doing, well, trying to help Rick and their crew somehow. You don't know who's a double crosser or a triple crosser. But yeah, so then Negan comes back at the end and, you know, they've got a plan and stuff and they want to get back in control of their, their base and get the zombies out. And Negan has entrusted Eugene with doing that. Um, he kind of made a threat, I don't know. Every time he talks, he seems to make a threat, Negan. But what a character. Like this episode, you've seen a lot of him. And can't get enough of that villain. Like, even though it's a villain, you, you, you want him to die. You know he's got to die. He's going to get killed, probably. Obviously. But at the same time, what a, cla what, what a character. All those, uh, those phrases, those ways when he describes any sort of situation, just makes it so vivid. Um... But I'm not, no, I'm going to watch the next one and be back to talk to you about that soon. In a minute, in a second, whatever. But yeah, episode five, a um, few little scenes there. Uh, you haven't seen the hilltop yet, what's going on there. 
in this episode anyway, some episodes are just misplaced, but at the end, Rick has gone to that scrapyard where that other crew live, the ones that betrayed them with the saviors, at the end of season seven. So he's trying to get them on side and get their guns and weapons and their, well, he needs their help, basically. These people betrayed them, but that's how it is. They, they're gonna need people to fight. And at the end there, Rick actually saw a helicopter. Um, I've been arguing with my brother whether that's a flashback, flash forward, or it's just him, like, having a vision. I don't know. <laughs> One of them scenes just like, what? A helicopter, yeah, right. Um, but yeah, they kind of left it at that, didn't they? If I remember in the next episode, but then I haven't seen episode eight, like I said, so I don't know yet. But I'll be talking about it on there sooner rather than later, I'm sure. Um, thank you for tuning in. Yeah, it's not a standard vlog. Probably tuning in expecting a vlog, but yeah. I'm talking about Walking Dead because I love the show so much. Um, if you don't like it, just maybe have a watch, see what you think. Watch an episode. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. Like with a lot of these shows, either you watch them or you don't. That's pretty much it. But yeah, thank you, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, and I'll see you in a bit. I don't know why I'm signing off, it's like a double sign off. Whatever. Um, see you in a sec for episode 6. What's up guys? It is now 2018, and last time you saw me in this video, it was 2017, so we have time travelled. Once again, succeeded time travel. So yeah, I'm going to talk about Walking Dead, episodes 6 and 7. We really talked about episode 5. I'm going to put them into one video and then do a big talk about episode 8, which was the mid-season finale. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, Ezekiel is still not coming out, still not talking to anyone. Um, so Carol is like, I don't know, she's like there as well, she's like trying to get him back to his feet, if you like, because he's mourning. Shiva, obviously, and Maggie and Jesus still have the predicament of all the the uh, saviors workers that they have like tied up outside the hilltop. Bit of an awkward situation because Jesus, obviously being the good the good guy that he is, obviously he's got that name. He's got to be good at some, you know, he's got to preserve life in some way, be some sort of good guy. Maggie trying to be the diplomat. Gregory being the typical treacherous snake that he is. Playing both sides again, we don't know. But yeah, the, the debate is those prisoners, like, they can't just kill them. Because I, like, I already said that's like a political thing that uh, Maggie and Jesus don't want to do, but at the same time, it's risky. You know, it's risky having all these guys close to your, you know, your people. Um, as much as it's about the show, it makes you think about war situations, what happens in that situation, it goes a lot worse. Um, and of course Rick is, as he's gone to the, I can't remember what that, the people that live in that junkyard, I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, he's gone to them to ask for their help again. And they're saying like, this could be a trap and all that. So they've, they've kind of captured him or something, put him in a, in a box, if you like. Um, it's kind of awkward with them because they don't really, they don't really speak normally. They kind of like say one or two words in each sentence, and that's it. They're a bit illiterate, let's just say. But in, in the apocalypse, you know, who can blame them? It happens. <laughs> and Kyle has found that kid Sadiq, and he saved him, brought him back to the the community. Rosita and Michelle. Are, decided that they need to help and they've come across this warehouse where there were two two saviors who were fitting speakers to this truck and then Rosita shot one of them with a bazooka that was in there like, why would you do that it's just going to attract zombies quite funny though where the guy just disappeared turned into fire like ball of fire is that one of their moments like as serious as it is I'm just cracking up it's like are you seriously going to put that in the show this season has been full of 
a lot more fire and explosions though, to be honest. It's been fun. As much as sad to see characters go, there's always weird things that make me laugh in this show, like some of the random outtakes or movie mistakes, whatever you call them. But yeah, so Rick is in a box, Michelle and Rosita, they found these saviors, um, killed one of them with a the bazooka, like I said, and then the other one was getting away in the truck till Daryl turned up with a bigger truck and took them out, literally, with terror as well. And them two had a little debate about Dwight as well. Terror wants to kill him because he killed her a girlfriend, that, whatever her name is, the one that got shot in the eye with the arrow. <laughs> I say, I say arrow. <laughs> as if it would just be like that if you got shot in the eye. No pain, just, you'd be winking or not. No. <laughs> I'm not funny. Get over it. That's me. I'm talking to myself. But yeah, so episode six. Not much to really say, but moving on to episode seven in a minute. And then I'm gonna save the finale the mid season finale for another video. Um I'm still well, I'm still enjoying even though I watched them a second time, still can't beat watching Walking Dead like Still, still enjoyable for me because the little details you miss out the first time you notice them the second time so thank you because if it weren't for you I wouldn't be doing this I wouldn't be watching it again telling you guys about it yeah you've probably seen it already and you you probably get your own analysis from watching it own opinion but this is mine and thank you for taking it in if you have if you haven't drop me a comment and I will change up the format but yeah, um, I haven't got many views on these as of yet, but time will tell, time will tell. It's a new year, things change, so keep it real, and I'll see you on the next Walking Dead video. Take care for now, peace. Well guys, that was crazy. Just all hell breaking loose. Don't know who's doing what. But yeah, it's a good setup for the season finale, mid season finale, if you like. Like Rick has uh, broken out of that container where the, the scavengers, I got their name right, I heard their name in that episode. The scavengers um, is what they're called. And they had Rick. Now he's free, they're working with him, I think, for now. Um, but yeah. What a show to be watching at the moment. I've heard mixed uh, comments about it, good and bad, but nah. Uh, after having watched it, I'd, I'd say it's, it's it's quality for a, for Walking Dead season within eight episodes with the stuff that's gone on. And in this episode, you saw like the confrontation between Eugene and Dwight. Quite interesting. Eugene, you still don't know what side he's on, but. He's now an alcoholic and he loves wine and he needs wine, but I don't. And he can't hold his liquor, basically. That That is what I've come to realise. And Rick teamed up with more people, scavengers, so they have got numbers. Ezekiel still don't want to know. Oh yeah, um, something I missed out from the other episode. Um, what, Aaron and Edith have gone somewhere in a car. But yeah, Michelle and... Michonne and Rosita have realised like they're better off just going back home, let everyone else deal with it. Um, and yeah, Daryl, the, you see him crash that truck into the wall of of the, the sanctuary where the saviors are all trapped inside. So then all the zombies get in, people are being eaten. We don't know who's dead and who's not yet, but like, like I said, Eugene was trying to help them by, by getting Sasha's old iPod from her coffin and using it, playing the music out loud on a little some little aeroplane that he made. Um, Dwight shoots it down and then we see what happens after that with the truck smashing into the wall when all the zombies getting in. So but big things happening on both sides. Um, yeah Gregory is now one of the uh, prisoners at the hilltop just because you can't trust him nobody can. 
I, I really wouldn't use a snake. I've said this many times. But um, no, I, mean, I watch Talking Dead from time to time, and as as a person, he's a nice guy. Even uh, Simon, uh, the actual guy in real life, is quite a friendly, quite a funny guy. A lot, a lot of them are. Um, so it's weird to see them on that show compared to their characters in Walking Dead. But uh, yeah, all round good setup for season eight for episode eight. Um, but yeah, I've done three episodes in this. So thank you for being part of that. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, and stay part of of my channel. Get new people involved. Tell them about it to your friends, family. Um, but most of all, if you haven't watched Walking Dead, watch it. I assume you have watched it if you're watching this. Um, but yeah, not not the most eventful episode. Episode six before that, but this episode was, and. I'm going to leave you alone, it will be episode 9, whenever that comes back, if it does. This month, next month, I don't know. It could be March even. I should find out and I'll, I will let you know in one of my vlogs. Um, but this is it for now. I'm going to edit this and then get on with, my, with another vlog for you guys. So stay tuned for that as well. Keep it real. And Happy New Year.